Folks, for the past week, we've been talking a lot about the Pope, me a lot tonight. And I want you to know, just because I'm a Catholic, it doesn't mean I don't respect the religious views of all 18 to 34-year-olds with disposable income. <laughs> this is Stephen Colbert gets all up in your faith. Tonight, I get all up in spirituality and drugs. <laughs> now, I want you to know, I have no problem when it comes to <sighs> pantomime. <laughs> but I got to tell you, I am on the fence when it comes to <sighs> <laughs> That's why I was so curious about a new church in Indianapolis, Indiana, called the First Church of Cannabis. Named, of course, after the long-forgotten 13th Apostle Saint Cannabis, who fell asleep on the couch and missed the Last Supper. It's too bad. It's too bad he woke up pretty snacky. The Church of Cannabis believes that the Dank Sinatra is a holy sacrament and encourages its members to toke up in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Crap. I think there's a cop outside. Flush it, flush it. <laughs> it was founded by self-appointed Minister of Love and Keith Richards cosplayer, <laughs> Bill Levin, who says he formed the church not just to puffer, but to test the state's new Religious Freedom Restoration Act, which offers protections against the government infringing on religious practices, making it the first test Bill has ever been involved in that did not require a urine sample. <laughs> Just listen to Brother Bill testify about his spleef belief. We believe we have the freedom uh, to express ourselves in a natural way by celebrating life, good health, compassion, and happiness uh, with the cannabis plant. A plant that we are instinctually drawn to as human beings uh, because of our endocannabinol system within our own bodies. Yes, humans have been instinctually drawn to pot since caveman times. That's why they grew their hair out, didn't shower, and those cave paintings look so good under black light. <laughs> and recently, the congregation gathered for the first time, but their buzz was harshed. The inaugural service of First Church of Cannabis kicking off in Indianapolis, Indiana. People spoke out about how marijuana helped their lives at yesterday's service, but there wasn't an ounce of the green stuff in sight. Yes, there was no pot smoking at their religious services, but the bake sale afterwards was amazing. <laughs> well, that's it for Stephen Colbert gets all up in your faith. Join me next time when I unpack agnosticism, the seltzer water of religious beliefs.